Gentlemen, we were lovers! Then you guys start to play, okay? So as soon as I say that, I will exit. So I might need you to take one more step back just till we're, just so I can get in and out. Tonight on Strip Down, Jay Sempko, Josh Palmer, Teresa Sokerka. You, me, Robert Palmer. Are we still on the air? <laughs> You are watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's only one hour local music showcase, the award winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I'm your host, Curtis Anderson, and tonight is all about Valentine's Day. We have a returning co host, and tonight's band will get you in the spirit of February 14th, possibly. Tonight on Stripped Down, we were lovers. <laughs> in the Shaw TV studios tonight. It's gonna get cozy in here real quick. This is the Valentine's Day episode, and we've got a very special co-host returning from Halloween, I guess it was. Get in here, Bryn Kreisa. Everyone give her a round of applause. Okay. Yeah. I bring Bryn out on all the holidays. Oh, yeah. 
We did a show to end the last season where we all uh, gave our two cents of guests we thought would be good the following season, which is now your number one band, We Were Lovers. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Are you excited tonight? Very. Why We Were Lovers, Bryn? Because they are really good and have a nice, unique sound. As we heard off the top, welcome, We Were Lovers. You guys excited to do this tonight? Yeah. You excited to get stripped down in the Shaw TV studios? <laughs> totally. Yes. Okay, here we are. 2009, We Were Lovers. What do we need to know? Uh, well, first of all, brand new lineup. Yep. Um, this is probably, what, our third show with our new rhythm section here, Jordan and Zachary. And um, touring right ahead mm -hmm. next month. We'll talk South by Southwest a little later, but mm -hmm. things going good? Yeah, things are going great. Right on. Yeah. What was the first song we heard tonight? What did you kick off the show with? Uh, that was called Dangerous Darlings. And? Explain the song. <laughs> this is what um, the show is all about, well, Elsa. We're going to peel back the layers <laughs> and get to know you guys. Um, well, this song was actually like one of, one of the completed... You're nervous. You're spinning the, uh, you're spinning oh. the symbol. Oh, sorry. <laughs> maybe, what, what if I am? Maybe I am, maybe I am. <laughs> um, no, Dangerous Darlings is probably... Ash would be the one to know because after the lineup changed from our first lineup, um, we were the last two standing. And um, this was probably one of two or three songs that were actually completed like before we had the new right. lineup or whatever. So... Um, Came together quickly. I also kind of made up the main piano riff and added some guitar and came together beautifully. It's great. How's the, how has the process changed with the new members? The writing process. Um, it's awesome. They <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good. Yeah. Um, it's they've added a whole lot. Yeah. We, you know, it's a big difference when you have people that are, um, have musically the same tastes and and yeah, it's really good. Well, like on on a lot of levels, we're all on the same page. Um, probably almost almost every. We we haven't gotten to know each other extremely well to know if we are actually worst enemies or not. Yeah, sorry, I'm like twisting and turning that'll, things here. That'll come during Maybe tour. you guys will know by the yeah. end of tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I said this was going to be a Valentine's Day episode and you guys came on and started ripping hearts and uh, explaining in great detail. Not all of you are actually fans of Valentine's Day. We have we have a skull now. <laughs> we have a skull in front of my it's beautiful so Cupid and, and hearts. There's just there's so many different parts to Valentine's Day, you know? Some so, people. So Such we get as? a thumbs up, thumbs down, fans, not fans, Valentine's Day, you guys. Thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. <laughs> Something on the yeah, side. Yeah, I'm sure. medium you too. It varies year thumbs to year. Thumbs up. It's great when you're in love, but when you're alone, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we're lovers? Kidding, Tell us about that. I know. Okay, yeah. what's, what's past tense? You gotta give me, you gotta give me props, man. I found a band that had the word lovers in, and I booked them for the Valentine's Day show. Anyways, we need to get to more music. Let's let's get out of this conversation quickly. Oh, okay. Uh, what's up next? It's another new one. It's called Roll with Thunder. All right, you gotta give us room to get out of here. We'll go behind you. Take it away, you guys. <laughs>
We were lovers in the Shaw TV studios tonight. I was just thinking, you know, that'd be a good song to play on February 14th. That was a nice song. Was I correct? Mm -hmm. Was that a nice love song, Elsa? Well, uh, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> was there some sarcasm Sounds in nice. my voice? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. The yeah. song was about... Um... In all things Valentine's? Mm, the opposite. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm following a theme here tonight on our Valentine's Day show. All right, I'm going to talk to the band. We have to take our first commercial break. We'll bring you some love songs, some Valentine's Day songs. we got lots more stripped down coming up. After our first commercial break, we got more Bryn Kreisa. Stick around. Yeah, Bryn. Oh, I can't even see it. Don't touch that dial. More stripped down after this. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments, 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Do you know where stuff goes once it's flushed down the toilet? It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways, while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest reptile in the world. Up to two meters long and weighing as much as 550 kilos, this turtle roams many of the world's oceans in search of its favorite food, jellyfish. But this hulking giant may be fighting a losing battle against poaching, fishing gear, and garbage. To learn more about the leatherback and discover how you can help protect Canada's wildlife, visit hww.ca. And we're back and we're arguing about what exactly a haiku is. The wonderful Elsa here has wrote some poetry in the downtime. Do you want to enlighten us, Elsa? See, this is very Valentine's Day y. Okay. You're not going to make people oh, cry. Oh, I guess are I don't you? need to go to the mic. She's no. He's in Arby's. No, I'll, well, These I are might. straight from Arby's? Yeah. Okay. We went to <laughs> Arby's of all places. Am I allowed to say that on TV? I don't know. You just know. did. Um, anyways. <laughs> it's not for sponsor, it's okay. Okay, okay well, anyways. Um, okay. I keep feeling like I have to go to the mic to talk. Ash Lamoth, your guitar licks are so hot. Every time you write, it's just so damn hot. Thank you. Well put. <laughs> These aren't like sentimental Poignant. or anything. Poignant. To the point? Zachary Lucky with <laughs> bass lines so funky. That doesn't rhyme, okay, I know. You're the baby of the band, now buy us a van. <laughs> I thought you were going to rhyme with they, monkey. They've been trying to get me to buy the van. <laughs> So we have something to drive on tour. To do anything Because I'm the only one who has money. Getting Ash works too. But. Just shy a weeb. You play guitar like a dream. We were lovers as happy. You followed your dream. You can ride dream with dream. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to. Actually, I think I've done that every time except for Zach's. Uh, Jordan Kurtz, you hit the drums till it hurts. My ears. Yeah, it actually hurts. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> studio audience, if they were here, they would be clapping right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know where to go from there, so I think we're just going to leave and let you play the uh, next song. And Bryn will jump back in the conversation after this. Song number three. This What's is up? Probably, probably more geared towards Valentine's okay, Day. Okay, here it is, everybody. I told <laughs> Here's you, the, the Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day song. Hit. All right. And it's called? Um, tentatively, Don't Take Your Love. All right.
we go. That sounded Valentine's Day-ish. Valentine's Day E. We were lovers in the Shaw TV studios tonight. Co-hosting, of course, is Bryn Chrysa. Now, this is the uh, impromptu nature of the show. We're going to quickly play a game called Take Bryn Out for a Night on the Town. Oh. Okay, she's going she's gonna, to uh, gauge these one to five stars. Okay, if you were to take the lovely Bryn out, because this is actually what she wears out on dates, trust yeah. me. Where would you take Bryn out here in Saskatoon? Uh, I'd take Carver's. her to Carver's. Carver's? Oh, <laughs> Ritz. All right, Bryn, one to five stars. What would that be? Five being the best. Uh, three and a half. Oh, fan of Carver's. She's How about you, sir? Uh, I was going to say maybe a tasty Donaire. <laughs> I don't really know what that is. <laughs> it's like a meat pita. It's, oh, sounds yeah. good. Four. Hey, wow. Oh, nice. oh. Rebuttal, come on. You got hurt by a... What? It's okay. No way, rebuttal. Okay. You get one shot at taking um, Bryn. I don't know if you want to play or not, Elsa. I want to, though. Okay, if you were, if you were to take Bryn out. Uh, probably to a metric concert. Ooh. I thought it had to be food. Five. Five. Very good, very good. What if, what if it was metric with a donaire? <laughs> oh, that, oh, that you can't, no, you can't change the score. That might be a six. Oh, oh yes. Might, yeah, but yeah, well, it's too late now. Yeah. Elsa's winning with five. You're up. You can't beat five. You're taking, you're taking uh, Bryn out on a date. Um, uh, a date's where you go and you pick her up. <laughs> we gotta go back for so long. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe like... <laughs> <laughs> go somewhere tasty first, somewhere tasty to eat, and then go for a nice walk down by the river, you know? Uh, and then maybe go to a metric concert. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to steal thunder. Is that one of your favorite donairs? Uh, <laughs> and then go to Carver's. Three and a half. Yeah. Then you get some Carvers, Carvers and donairs. <laughs> All right, last stop. Taking Bryn out on a date. She may she may add an extra heart, too, if it's really good. <laughs> um, she looks like a sushi lover, so I'll say sushi. Sushi? Oh, wow. Four. And then a metric. Four and a half. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, all right. They're all love songs in there. It's not about donaires, though? It's actually about donaires.
that's what I'm talking about. We were lovers in the Shaw TV studio tonight. You're watching Strip Down. I'm stepping over a bunch of stuff. Bryn Christ on hand with me, co-host tonight. Bryn, you're very excited with that last song. That was one of your favorites. Really? Yeah. Yes. You're awesome, Bryn. Well, thanks. Uh, you guys have so much to talk about at the uh, Metro concert. <laughs> we have to take our second commercial break, but when we get back, we are going to play Three Degrees of Josh Palmer. Bryn, you want to you wanna throw it a break? You want to pitch it to break? More stripped down after this. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, more stripped down after this. You've seen a Canadian $1 coin, so you're probably familiar with the common loon. It's no surprise that this water bird represents our country. Have you ever sat by a lake and listened to the loon's haunting calls? You probably wonder what all the noise is about. Its calls can mean anything from, I'm over here, to stay away. Humans enjoy Canadian lakes just as much as loons do. But if we're not careful, the wake from our boats can destroy their nests. And lead sinkers and jigs can poison and kill loons if they swallow them. So here's how you can help. Keep boats away from nesting areas and swimming birds, especially ones with chicks too young to dive or fly away. And if you're fishing, use non-lead sinkers and jigs so you won't harm the loons. And that's just a start. If you go to hww.ca, you can learn more about loons and find ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Passing gas can be deadly. Whoa, oh, something's funky. Passing gas releases a plume of toxic vapors. Oh, oh, honey, not in the car. Like ammonia and hydrogen cyanide. Oh. Oh. And lethal poisons that can linger even when windows are open. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas, take it outside. Welcome back to Strip Down. I'm in the audio booth right now with our audio engineer, Mr. Colton Wall, who is in the spirit of Valentine's Day. Colton Wall, you're about to take an exciting journey. I'm quite excited about this. Who are you meeting in like two days, Colton? The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. From the WWE. Are you excited about that? Oh, very excited, Curtis. As you know, we try to talk wrestling on the show at least for two minutes every week. So, Ric Flair, how's mm -hmm. that all coming together? Edmonton? He's What's in he Edmonton. Doing? He's doing a meet and greet. He's actually speaking at an auditorium. So you get a speech from the Nature Boy. Pretty much on Valentine's Day. Yep. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, we're going to play The Three Degrees of Josh Palmer. Now, of course, this is our uh, weekly segment here where everybody in Saskatoon knows Josh Palmer and has done something with him. So we were lovers, Three Degrees of Josh Palmer. Who wants to jump all over this? Someone go. Have you guys worked with him? I worked, with him? I worked at Domino's with him way back in the day. You, Domino's Pizza? Yeah. I did not know. I did. Did he cook or drive? He drove. Yeah, he probably it was back when he, the whole way. Yeah. He's probably like, pepper. <laughs> the whole way there. It was old school. I think it was back when he had that band. For free, I mean. 30 minutes are free. Uh, Anyone else? Josh Palmer? I played in a band with him once, a, a reggae band. Nice. I was a backup singer and he played guitar and sang. <laughs> it was called the Rasta Prans. They're still around, actually. They play at Buds all the time and the friends and stuff. Let's keep this going. Josh Palmer. Uh, Nothing. You know, Canadian Idol. <laughs> good, good enough. Of course. You watched him on TV? Um. Last time we worked with him was at the Roxy. You did sound for us. Nice. Finish it up. Uh, we run into him everywhere. We went to Edmonton <laughs> for uh, a Western music. music the Western Awards. Community. Yeah, Canadian Western Music Awards, and he was there. I, I jumbled that up. <laughs> no, it's okay. It was good. <laughs> okay, we're gearing up for South by Southwest. We're going to talk about that next, but I want to get one more song in first. You've, you've treated us with, like, back-to-back -back love songs, so... What's coming so up it's, next? We're due for the opposite. We're, we're due once for an again. opposite. Yeah. We'll get nice close ups of the some. torn heart and the uh, skull, which I think was last appeared on Strip Down during the Halloween episode. 
which you were also oh. co-host with. All comes together. It's blowing my mind. Three degrees of brim. And the skull. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible segment. Three degrees of the skull. Okay, we're going to get out of here. All right, this one's called Underground. <laughs> sudden ending to that one. We were lovers in the Shaw TV studios. You're watching Strip Down. Tell us. South by Southwest. You guys got to be pretty excited. That's all over your MySpace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it doesn't say we were lovers. It says South by Southwest yeah. 2009. Presents. Yeah. <laughs> we were lovers. Uh, we're stoked. Um, the Western Canadian Music Awards is the festival, our very first festival that we played at last um, October in Edmonton. And um, we invited a few people to come out to the show, and one of the people um, just was to be. well. Not just happened to it was all, you know, <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> but um, he enjoyed it, and well, just happened to enjoy it. And he and we ended up getting like an invitation a couple weeks later to play, which was actually like probably a week after we applied. Like we didn't want to seem like you know, hey, we expect to get invited, but. Um, so we sent an application in and then ended up getting an invitation. So. But you are excited. That's a pretty big deal, Yeah, we're right? super stoked about it. Because yeah. you were there last year, but you weren't in a playing capacity. You were just an observer. Yeah, it was. What's the energy like out there? Amazing. Like, all of the people. And, like, I didn't meet one mean person. Everybody was super friendly, and the energy was just so, so positive. It was really good. All right. You want to play another quick Valentine's-ish game? I went to, like, gooddatebaddate.com. Let's say Bryn had to cancel the date at the last minute. 
how do you each respond? You're not going to Carver's, my friend. <laughs> you made the reservation and Bryn's out. How do you respond? I'd still go to Carver's. <laughs> you eat for two? Yeah. Okay. Good steak there. Okay. Can't pass that up. Bryn cancels on you. No. Oh my goodness. Donaires for one. <laughs> It's still a pretty good date. No, I'd uh, I'd go to her house. I'd probably pull the old <laughs> that's what boombox Tuesday. <laughs> boombox over the old head to her window, probably. Oh, know, nice. Playing her favorite song, a little say anything. You would. Say say. I would. No metro, no metro for you and Bryn. No you metric. Say? What did I say? Metric, metro. One of those guys. Um, <laughs> I probably would still go because it's You're being concert. Replaceable, <laughs> apparently, Bryn. No. These are these are things. Ah, that no big no big loss. That's, that's what I was getting to. I'd rip oh, over okay. ticket so she wasn't replaceable. So you'd be dramatic about it. Yeah. No, no. But I you'd just, move on quickly. Okay, no. so I wouldn't rip it up. I'd, I'd frame it and give it to her okay. on our next date. <laughs> just so she knows what she missed out on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Videotape it, put a whole montage Speaking together. of missed out on, how would you respond, sir? I'd probably uh, go home, write a sad song about it. <laughs> Come to strip maybe, down maybe and perform still, it. Maybe still go for a walk later. You know, you know, Humming it by the river with by tears myself, in his eyes. Singing the song by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least. Um, yeah, I'd probably just go home and... Uh, go on a date with your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, with my, with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got off with Let's get to our music. Again. We're just <laughs> rifling through Valentine's Day-ish songs. Where can you possibly go from here? Down? Up. I don't <laughs> Down, up. Hopefully, yeah. Um, the new one, yeah. Another new uh, one? Like a, a, a brand, a brand. Debuting on Strip Down? Yeah, debuting ever, yeah. On Strip Down, yeah. Brand new. Let's watch and listen, Bryn. Okay. Take it away, you guys.
Lovers on Strip Down. That was a fantastic song, you guys. That was again? Brand new one? Mm -hmm. it doesn't even have a name. Mm -hmm. doesn't have a name. It's called you, mm. you name it. Um, mm. I'll call it Skullhead because, man, tonight <laughs> Done. our camera operators are loving the skull. Every single shot was I like can a play a solo, maybe. I tried to put on a nice happy Valentine's Day episode. I really tried, viewers. I really tried. During the song, I started Googling Valentine's Day, and yeah, here's some more good news. One of the uh, origins is that uh, St. Valentine was rejected by his mistress. So heartbroken, he took a knife to his chest, and Santa is still beating hard as a token of his undying love for her. Hence the heart-shaped cards, which are now Santa's attribute to his overwhelming passion and suffering. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> okay, I've, I've knocked it down. Let's bring it back up. Married man, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Give me a good story. Um, you and your wife, Valentine's Day, 2009. Uh, I used my idea and I, with... Uh, going for oh, sushi, that's going to go over well. Yeah, sorry, and surprise is over. <laughs> don't, you mean, don't you mean you're going to put on her favorite uh, chick flick and massage her feet while she watches? That probably will happen later on in the evening, okay. definitely after sushi. After sushi. Good stuff. Okay, we have to take our final commercial break. We've got a few more songs. We've got We Were Lovers. Yeah, Valentine's more. Day. We're going to bring the mood back up, I promise. It's going to end on a high note. More stripped down. You want to pitch to break again? You're so good at it. More stripped down after this. <laughs> Stick around, more strip down after the break. Do you know how many people get their water from underground? Water can come from the surface or underground. Groundwater is found in the layers of soil and rock beneath our feet in saturated areas called aquifers. This water source is collected in wells and supplies about half of North America's drinking water. The problem is, the quality and safety of this underground water is directly affected by what we do on the land above it. What can you do to keep your drinking water safe? Groundwater starts on the surface, so whatever you put on your lawn that the plants don't use can seep into the groundwater. This includes excess chemicals and fertilizers, and even oil spills, so be sure to dispose of them properly. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments, 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. The monarch's return after its long winter absence in Mexico and California is a sign that the Canadian summer has also returned. But because of environmental threats like pesticides and the loss of breeding habitat, the familiar orange, black, and white of Canada's best-known butterfly may become an uncommon sight. To learn more about the monarch and discover how you can help protect Canada's wildlife, visit hww.ca. Ladies and gentlemen, we were lovers.
You are watching Strip Down. We are wrapping things up with We Were Lovers. It's our sort of Valentine's Day episode. I think it turned out pretty good. You guys having a good time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks for having us. Ready to wrap this thing up. I want to say hello to all our viewers in Regina because, of course, this show does air all over the Access Communications networks out there. And that's fitting because you guys are about to play in Regina, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it'll be the kickoff for our eastern slash southern tour, I guess. Like, we're doing um, an eastern Canadian tour to Montreal, and then that'll precede our South by Southwest show. So we'll drive down to Texas and uh, come back to Saskatoon. So kickoff to our tour is an all-ages show at the Mackenzie Art Gallery with um, Ra Ra and the Library of Voices. Shows at 8. We start at 8. And then um, the next night day? we're playing... Did you say what day? Oh, uh, Thursday, March 5th. It's all on and the then, though, right? Yes. Yeah, it's all under my space. And um, on the next night, which is Friday the 6th of March, uh, we played O'Hanlon's with Sylvie. So we're really stoked about both of those shows. I always make sure I ask this question because a lot of bands have to... Uh, kind of rejig what they would normally do for a concert to be able to play Strip Down. I'm not sure if you guys did. Is that <laughs> accurate? Is this what you're going to get if you take in a We Were Lovers show? But uh, slightly much. louder. But On yeah. steroids. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be louder. We were uh, kind of like, more energetic this is now. Strip Down for us, yeah. This yeah, we're like, we don't know how to Strip Down. <laughs> we tried. Unless uh, you mean literally. Uh, brush sticks type thing. And, <laughs> and we were going to play acoustic guitars, but we thought it would sound Mexican guitar sound. <laughs> oh, did we? Did we? <laughs> might, yeah. Never forbid it would sound. I didn't know that. Sorry. That's kind of cool. <laughs> this wouldn't work. All right, do you guys actually have Valentine's Day plans? Anything? I'm playing I, a show on Valentine's You're playing a show? <laughs> this is a Valentine's Day show. Come on. I'm going so, to Regina for Valentine's Day. Well, that's pretty romantic. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Bryn, you never answered. What would Bryn Kreiss's dream date be? Did anybody come close? All of them combined into one. Oh. Yeah. 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 That was my Shine. answer. Okay, I have uh, <laughs> some, some true or false really quick to end the show. Okay, true or false. 5% of U.S. women send themselves flowers on Valentine's true. Day. True. Send themselves. True. True or false? Five percent. True. Absolutely true. Yeah, I'd say false. It's probably more. Twenty percent. Fifteen percent. Unreal. Oh. Well done. Well, you should have said more or less. Though. <laughs> we need yeah, options true here. False. <laughs> this is a trick question. Okay, true okay, oh. or false? <laughs> About three percent of pet owners will give Valentine's Day gifts to their pets. True. True. That false. Is, no, that's that's true. true. <laughs> true, false, true. 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 Okay, we're totally running out of time. You guys had a good time tonight? Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. We also should probably mention our All Ages show, our f very first All Ages show um, at Le Relay, February 25th. And you promise good times? Oh, such It'll be great times. times. Or your money back. It'll be no. a post-Valentine's post, post -Valentine's Day celebration. Not money back. All right, let's wrap <laughs> this up. You're in the way of my prompter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks to tonight's crew and, of course, our sponsors, Mother's Music, Ultimo Yurimoto, and Rocco Radio. For all things stripped down, hit start.shaw.ca and then go to Saskatoon, then go to Strip Down, or just go to myspace.com slash strip down sask for details on next week's episode as well as pictures from every single episode past. Thank you very much, Bryn Kreisa, Jeff Fun. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Let's get out of here for the last time tonight, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. We were lovers.
this week on Stripped Down, we got another holiday edition. It is Valentine's Day. We got a very special co host, Miss Bryn Chrysa. And Bryn, in honor of Valentine's Day, the band is. We were lovers. This week on Stripped Down, we got another holiday edition. It is Valentine's Day. We got a very special co host, Miss Bryn Chrysa. And Bryn, in honor of Valentine's Day, the band is. We were lovers. 